Hi friends, NPM 7 has been released. So today we take a look at one of the features that has been released in NPM 7, that is the NPM workspaces. Also we take a look at how the peer dependencies are automatically installed by NPM 7. NPM 7 is automatically included in the Node.js 15 version. So I have installed the Node.js 15 and you can see that the NPM version is 7.2 so for today's video I have created uh, a shared workspace uh, which will contain two applications in the apps folder so both these are uh, sample react applications and I have created a library and named it as core library and uh, the intent of this video is that I need to share this code which I have written in the core library between these two react applications so I have created a package.json file for the uh, shared library and I have given the name as at the rate core slash lib and I have pointed that the index.js is the main entry point. So this it contains uh, just a function which adds two numbers and returns the sum. So uh, previously if I needed to share this library between two uh, applications in a workspace we needed to use tools like nx or the yarn workspace so currently since the npm workspace has been introduced it has become quite easy you just need to add workspaces in that you can add the path of the library and uh, you just need to do an npm install in the main workspace folder so if you go to the folder you can see that uh, inside the workspace the node modules folder has been created and inside that at the uh, right core and library so this is basically a uh, sim link which has been uh, created and points to the our shared library inside the core lib if we take a look at the package log file which is generated in the main workspace folder we can see that uh, whatever we found earlier like the Node module score lib is actually a sim link and it points to the libs slash core lib folder. Now we will be able to easily use the shared library within our applications. So I am adding the import. You can refer to the library as core slash lib and I am just adding a div here to show the sum of the two numbers so uh, let's go to the application so you can see that the uh, shared code is working and it is displaying the result similarly we can uh, add the same code in the other application so I am adding the same thing And I am adding a div. And if we take a look at the other application, it is also working fine. So now let's take a look at how the behavior of the peer dependencies has been changed in NPM 7. So here I am adding a peer dependency. I am adding the library Lodash. I have given the Lodash version uh, 4.17 as a peer dependency and in the previous versions of npm when we do an npm install uh, uh, inside the library uh, folder it didn't use to install the dependencies so it was expected that the peer dependencies will be uh, maintained as part of the container application so however in this npm 7 version you can see that it actually went ahead and installed the dependencies. So if we go inside the node modules of the core lib folder, you can see that the Lodash has been installed as a peer dependency. So now let's use Lodash in our uh, library. So 
so uh, instead of using the sum uh, we will use the uh, sum function which comes inside dot dash so if you refresh the application you can see that it is still working as expected Hope this video was helpful in providing you a better understanding about the NPM workspaces. See you soon. Thank you.